political pressure, now they run from something they once embraced. I find it just hypocritical. Governor, what's your opinion of the deal that's been announced, the, the parameters of the deal that has been announced with regard to Iran? Very disappointing and very frightening, I think, particularly for the stabilization of the Middle East. I'm not sure why we would ever think that negotiating with Iran to begin with makes a whole lot of sense since they've never kept the deal they've ever made. Uh, for them to have nuclear uh, even capability is illegal. Uh, for them to push that they're going to end up with 6,000 centrifuges instead of 19,000. Michael, it's like giving a pyromaniac a, you know, 6,000 gallons of gasoline instead of 19,000, but he's still got a bunch of gasoline to start a fire. And you, you're talking about a country whose primary leader has been leading chants, death to America, and has vowed to wipe Israel off the face of the map. That's not exactly the kind of folks you want to sit down and make nice well, with and somehow assume they're going to be really keeping their bargain. I don't think they will. President Obama said, look, there, there are three choices here. Choice one is to negotiate a deal such as is now being put together. Two is to bomb Iran. Three is to walk away from the table. First of all, are those the three options? And if so, which does Governor Huckabee favor? Well, the president has missed one. The fourth one, and one that was working, was to uh, continue to put heavy sanctions on them and bankrupt them, force them to have to accept something other than now on their terms. I, I don't understand why we took the pressure off when the pressure was working. Uh, we, we really haven't gotten much out of this deal, Michael. It doesn't sound to me like that uh, anything is happening in Tehran other than laughter, but there's weeping in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Egypt, Jordan, and the rest of the Middle East where they now understand that the Americans have capitulated and let Iran move forward. Somebody who is a blogger made an observation this week, I thought it was interesting, that there's been more pressure to put sanctions on Indiana than on Iran. I thought that was a pretty wise observation. And it's been a, a, a real uh, almost distraction from something that is a whole lot more significant in terms of our national security than anything that's been uh, occupying the front pages here.